Hello everybody. Um, as you notice, we have been away from the YouTube and social media platforms for over three weeks. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and the reason why is because um, it has taken us this long to be able to come together and, and, and talk freely and, and uh, about what is going on. And uh, we just received um, some really uh, unexpected news and uh, we have been dealing with this for already a while and uh, but yeah it's, it's the time to uh, put it out there and, and you know let you guys know and everybody else uh, what's going on and um, so um, so the news is that uh, I have been diagnosed with uh, cancer and um, um, I have been doing all sorts of um, tests and to see where is it coming from and what it is that uh, can we do about it and the stage and, and, and all that kind of stuff. And this has taken uh, a big toll on us and our families and friends. And uh, yeah, it just, it has taken everything <clears throat> that we are used to uh, and, and put in a different perspective and our views are uh, has suffered that and uh, our life obviously is going to change and we're gonna have to adapt to it uh, in order to to continue uh, but we wanted to put the word out there for you guys and let you guys know what's going on <clears throat> and um, yeah yeah so it all started um, because Julia noticed, well, we both noticed uh, a small lump on the side of his neck and we weren't sure what it was. Our first thought was that it was an infection and maybe just a sore throat from a sickness. Yeah, it'll go in a couple of weeks. Yeah, so we waited like two weeks and then I said, okay, you should go to the doctor to get it checked and he went and the doctor did some tests they did an ultrasound they didn't find anything and they said most likely it could still be some type of virus that they can't find um, but just to be safe they'll do a biopsy so they scheduled a biopsy um, about a week later and during that time span a second lump grew so now he had two lumps and when they did the biopsy um, it came back, the test came back a week later that it was positive for cancer, mm -hmm. which was really unexpected. And even the doctors were surprised too. Um, yeah, I mean, um, the cancer, the type of cancer that, is, uh, that I have is uh, called squamous cell, can cell cancer carcinoma. Mm -hmm. uh, it is some type of tissue or skin cancer. Um, in my case, it's not on the skin. Um, we just got uh, notified by the doctor that it's in one of my tonsils and uh, it has made some kind of metastasis to the lymph nodes around my neck. <clears throat> it is an early stage, so I had a very high chance uh, that I can uh, overcome this situation. Um, we're staying positive uh, and uh, you just, just take it one day at a time. It has been very difficult for, you know, the first few weeks and, and, you know, as the time passes and we get more information, it's kind of hard. You never get used to, to the idea of what is coming and how much your life is going to change because, um, you know, you had to go through surgeries and you had to go to radiation and chemo and, and there's a bunch of little side effects and, and things that you're going to have to deal with in the near future and uh, physically is very demanding the treatment is very strong and very um, aggressive but uh, you know there is a chance to live and and, and, and we're gonna take that and as a positive that you know you still had a chance after finding out all this the next step is um, there he has an appointment next to go see a 
throat surgeon specialist and uh, they're gonna schedule surgery to see um, how much cancer they can take out in the tonsils and in the lymph nodes nodes yeah they have and to remove all um, I don't know if it's all yet or, or, or most, most of, of the lymph nodes which um, like I say it, it, it had some side effects of um, some other medical conditions that's called leaf edema. Uh, this is what happens when your lymph nodes get removed by a surgery that is called neck di dis dissection. And uh, the other one is um, osteoradio necrosis. And it's basically uh, when the radiation hits the bones of your jaw or some other bones, this, this um, um, might die and is com there's complications. So this is something that we uh, definitely had to get used to, to uh, and just try to, you know, go through this. Uh, one step at a time. Yeah, taking it one, yeah. one step at a time. Uh, it, is, it has been very hard um, because, you know, you really just, we just started to live a dream life and, you know, we had a small baby. We had a lot to look for in life and, um, yeah, this this thing changes a lot. Yeah. Um, so after the sorry, right. I need a break. Okay. So after the surgery, um, he's gonna do radiation in the neck area, and that should take. What was it six weeks? Yeah, um, the whole process of radiation and chemotherapy takes about six weeks. Um, and yeah, so this is what is going to be the next step after the surgery. Uh, so we're looking to probably at eight weeks of treatment. Um, we still don't know uh, how my body is going to respond to the treatment, but we're staying positive mm -hmm. and um, I guess we'll, we'll we'll put an update on on the process and the process and the mm -hmm. progress. Probably like you know something small on Instagram and stuff. Um, in the meantime, um, probably next uh, week we are going to upload, uh, start uploading the videos uh, with the footage that we have left yeah. of our trip in, in in Bahamas, and then you know uh, coming back when the pandemic uh, started and. Um, so yeah, after that, we pretty much um, will be done with the videos and mm -hmm. um, our boat it is going to be for sale. Uh, at the moment, uh, we put it in storage here in Florida and uh, uh, we took everything and put it in solar panels, sails and everything. And it is tied, it is tied down to the ground and very secure for hurricane season because uh, we won't be able to uh, use it for now. And for us, we are going to go to very <clears throat> difficult financial moments and the, the, the money that we're gonna get from the boat, it is definitely gonna help to go through this. And um, so yeah, the boat is going to be for sale. It, it sucks because it's our dream. Um, it was a dream and we worked pretty hard on it and uh, and yeah we uh, definitely are gonna have to let it go and because life is just had a different path for us now and uh, we're just gonna go through this so if there's anybody that is interested uh, we will start putting uh, more details and um, pictures of, well there's a very large amount of pictures if you you know want to see what we have done in the boat and and you know obviously you know we use the boat for a year uh it needs some little paint touch-ups and and you know some little things here and there because it's not showroom ready like like when we finish the boat but um definitely has a lot of potential it is well set up for cruising and it is a very good boat we really feel like anybody like like a couple or you know a, a solo single-handed person we enjoy the boat very much um, 
as as we did. Mm -hmm. um, like unfortunately for us, we just can't keep going in that path for now. You just gotta go through this right now and and keep our hopes high and and you know that everything is gonna be alright and yeah, it's just it's just what we have right now uh, is what we're gonna go through right now. Uh, in the meantime, like I say, she's going to be uploading videos and keep gonna keep working and in the editing. Mm -hmm. um, and so you guys can see what's going on and what happened. We're sorry that, um, you know, we kind of cut you off for three weeks with so absolutely no um, news or anything was going on, but we hope that you understand that in this case and these situations, it's very hard to kind of focus on anything else about, you know, your family. So, yeah, this is the update that um, we have for you guys. And like I say, next week we are going to be uploading a video of our trip when we were uh, in Bahamas. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's more footage um, to see. Maybe a little more spread out. May not be every week. Maybe twice a month or three times a month just mm -hmm. because it's important to focus any free time we have to focus on each other and um yeah so we'll get at the same time we're gonna be going through the chemo yeah. process so it, it is going to be it's gonna take a lot of time to you know kind of like work on each other yeah so um we'll give you updates on how julian's doing and how we're doing as a family so we're doing our best to stay positive because right now that's all we can do so um yeah just send us all your positive thoughts our way um, one of our friends recommended that in case the boat doesn't sell for what we want it to or um we just can't sell it right away um to start a gofundme page to um help with uh, any medical bills or the medical bills that we have um, for the whole cancer treatment. Um, so I created a GoFundMe page. So if you're interested in um, helping out in that way, um, the link I'll post below in the comment um, and description. Um, so yeah, I mean, any little bit will help us so before we go um and finish this video i want to send a message to everybody out there um that is fighting for you know accomplish their dreams um, don't give up because life is is unpredictable it could be too short if you had a dream go pursue it because like i say life is unpredictable you don't know when it's going to be your last day or you don't know when your life is to, just gonna change dramatically despite the fact that you have plans for the future so this is my advice for you guys out there um, just go out there live your dreams you know pursue your dreams because it's it's what you're gonna take and to add on to what he's saying, um, even just to take time to appreciate what you have, appreciate the small things, you know, don't take each other for granted because you don't know when something can change somebody you love or your life personally. Um, so thank you guys for listening to what's going on, sending us your positive vibes and um, we also want to send um, all of our positive thoughts to those who may be going through a similar situation as we are or who've already gone through it. Um, yeah, so we'll continue to stay positive and we will we'll fight this.